So in the first part of the interview with Jose Garcia, head of Airbus Defence and Space of the Southeast Asian region, we've talked about the European technologies in the defence sector. But now we're going to explore an also really interesting and fascinating sector, which is the space sector. So Jose, in the second part of the interview, we're going to talk about the European technologies in the space sector. Because in the first part, you amazingly describe uh, Airbus defence sector, but it also has an important division, which is the space. So can you talk about a little bit about this this division? Okay, it's also, I mean, if people doesn't know very much about the military aircraft, uh, when you say that we are quite strong in the space sector, people get more shocked, no? So it's, uh, it's also good for, for Spain. Yes, and also uh, a great opportunity to listen, and yes. for me to also understand it and, sure. and get information about I mean, that. We have, a, we have a strong footprint and strong uh, capabilities uh, in space, uh, so we have in between, I mean, the main part is in in France, in Toulouse, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, supported by Spain, Getafe, and uh, and Germany. So uh, mainly we can divide it in three parts. No, one is what we call uh, Earth observation, which is satellites that they are looking in the sp in from the space what is happening in the in the Earth. So there uh, we do two things. Firstly, we produce satellites for other countries, countries that they want to have their own satellites and for sovereignty, and they want to see what is happening by themselves in the in the Earth, which is fair. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second one is we have our own satellites. So, for example, I mean, we have many constellations of satellites, but uh, the, the last one of them, um, which is the head of the technology, is called Pleiadeo, which is having 70 centimeters uh, native uh, resolution. Uh, and is, uh, we already have two in the constellation, it's going to be four very soon. And it's, uh, it's amazing no? because the, the amount of uh, details that you can have uh, and quality of the imagery. Is, is really good. No? So we have many customers, I mean, customers normally are governmental, mm -hmm. uh, but also not only governmental institutions, but also uh, some uh, private ones, some workshop it is. And, uh, and it's, uh, I mean, it's uh, one of the last state of the art uh, that we have in the market. No? So one is the Earth observation. The second one is what we call uh, telecommunication, telecommunication satellites. So also there we are in the, in the head of the technology. We have uh, one product that is called OneSat. And uh, so it's a flexible satellite that you can reconfigure from the missions from the. I mean, once they are in, I mean, once you have a satellite in the space, you cannot go every day to touch. <laughs> so you need to control very well and to uh, from, from the ground. So if you are able to reconfigure where the different communication uh, spots or pins are are, uh, are focusing, uh, mm -hmm. is is really good for companies that want to do business. No, and today you have a business in some small islands in the Pacific, so you focus on them and tomorrow you don't have that and you have another business in the south of India and you want to cover. No? So this capacity of focusing the, the, the flexibility of the satellite and focusing that we are doing mm -hmm. uh, is, is really good and it's having a very good, uh, very well perceived of the market um, in, the, in that segment. No? And the third one, if you want, is uh, everything related with uh, space explorations, uh, human missions and whichever it is that we also have a strong collaboration with the different international agencies that goes, no? so like the, the European Space Agency, mainly because we are Europeans. No? Yeah. So happy, happy to be in this sector too. Well, yeah. And later we have another thing, that is uh, all this imagery that we are taking from the space and all the things, so later we have what we call connected intelligence. Mm -hmm. So we offer uh, different uh, all this data to the different customers and even sometimes with algorithms, and, and they, they can already, how to say, to, to have an added value from this imagery. No? So we, we do many, I mean, maybe you are every day using the, the Airbus imagery. And we, we're not aware of that. Sure, sure, in many, when you are searching in the maps uh, and you see an imagery from satellite, uh, most probably it's one of ours, okay, and you don't realize what wow. you're you having there. And, uh, and maybe in one of the, your uh, APP applications, you're also using, or you're using part of the uh, result of our uh, technology. Wow. So people doesn't know, but uh, we are there. And yeah, we are. and we should be proud that you were using European technologies without even realizing it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> so such, I mean, such amazing and interesting region products that you have. And of course, I, I guess that the space sector is ever evolving and it's so, I mean, it's fascinating and thrilling and it has a huge potential for the future. So my question for you, Jose, is how do you envision the future of the, this particular sector? Mm -hmm. Well, difficult question, okay? So yes, let, I guess. Let me, let me <laughs> the put, yeah, let me remove my hat of herbas here and let me put my, my personal one. And this is just a personal opinion, no? Sure. What you can see. 
So uh, today, in the um, I mean, there have been a lot of companies that you see in the in the news, no, with those same uh, names, mm -hmm. that they are making cheaper to send satellites to space, okay, with reusable reusable launchers and whichever. Mm -hmm. no? So uh, in the last year, we we see, and it's going to continue, that there is a huge amount of new satellites going uh, every year to the to the atmosphere, no, out of the atmosphere in that, in that yes. case. So more than one thousand satellites are going out. There are a lot of companies that they see that there is a huge business in the space. Um, so some people, let me do a, a little break. Now some people think, oh, because they see in the news, know that the oh the future of the space is the the travels, no, to, yeah. to be in the space that because which is a business. I mean, I, I don't say no, but the huge part is more in the earth observations and what you can do with the imagery that you can get from the from the space and which are the applications that you can take uh, to the to the humankind and the civilization no? and from counting how many cars are in the parking of a supermarket uh, for checking how much the competence are doing in sales uh, which is one of the ways until uh, helping the farmers to detect uh, how much water they need to put in their uh, or how much um, uh, fertilizers uh, you need to put there so they are saving money just because they don't need to put everything just in the places that you need no? so all these kind of things there are many many companies that they say okay well, we can do business with this, and at least this cheaper to send these satellites and to use this information. Mm -hmm. uh, this may develop. No? So one of the things is for sure, okay. And uh, you will start to see also in the future, and most probably you, you and me, we will see no? uh, a lot of uh, mining in the in the in other planet, no, even in the moon. No, there are projects now uh, to go there and to take uh, some of the things that you don't find easily in there. And that can be very, very useful, no? Or also to have a humankind uh, based in, in other planets. And this will happen. This will likely happen. It will take a little more, a little less, but it will, will likely happen, no? And a part of the, normally we are used that the, the big, um, the big space agencies are leading these missions. Mm -hmm. But these space agencies are also supported by other companies that are reliable, and they can take uh, some of the part of the business that is not so much. Uh, I don't say important, no, but not so much critical, and, uh, and you, you can support them. No? So it's a, I think we are going to see many interesting decades in the in the space sector. So I hope that uh, that we can see and we can participate yeah. in certain way. No? I because hope I'm alive to see that. I'll be sure. You will. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sure. I mean, we're all too influenced by movies and series and the idea of traveling to Mars or Jupiter or even farther than that. But it's so important and it's and it's so interesting for us to see that there's a really, I mean, benef benefit for humankind with all these kind of technologies that you're providing to the space. So it helps the Earth and totally humankind. Right? No, no, yeah, exactly, not to all, all companies. But it's not just like futuristic ideas that we have of traveling abroad, but it, it's also making an impact on the Earth, which is, I think, what should we should really be concerned about. So it's, it's amazing. And you have to talk about the sector in general. Do you think that the, the evolution of the, the sector was, will be as, uh, the same in the different regions? So, for example, what is it, will be the evolution in, in this particular region that we are in? Well, I cannot maybe compare very much with the others. What uh, I can say is maybe what we said at the beginning. No? Uh, Asia Pacific region is very dynamic. Many things are happening here. Uh, good efforts. Uh, I think the countries in general, they are doing well in their, their own model. No? Mm -hmm. So, grow, grow new new opportunities are coming in here and I hope to be here also for seeing how they are developing no? because uh, it is going to be also interesting to see how it's evolving this this region of the world. It doesn't mean that the others are not going to do what I'm talking mainly for what I understand a little more. No? Exactly yeah. and talking about these opportunities that you mentioned, uh, what advice would you have Jose, for all the Spanish companies that are focused, focusing nowadays on, on this space sector? What opportunities do they have in the, in the region and what advice would you give them? Maybe maybe something similar than before, but what I said before, no. I, I also know good Spanish companies that they are doing really well, they have a good technology, that maybe they see Asia far or complicated or not understandable or expensive to come here. No? Mm -hmm. uh, I will advise to come countries like Singapore that they are also doing well and supporting the, the space activities and try to look for opportunities and to offer the added value that the technology done by them or, or support uh, had been developed in 
in, in Europe is, is doing now. Uh, I really think that they will find uh, interesting opportunities uh, to, to grow. Yes. So don't, don't be brave and <laughs> yes, don't, 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 be hesitate, don't hesitate to give the state <laughs> because at the beginning it looks hard, but uh, trust me, it's worth it. Yes, in so, a personal point of view, no? <laughs> so don't be afraid and just come to, to Singapore and to this region and explore the amazing opportunities that the sector will bring in the future as well and just follow Jose advice. Jose's advice. So thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure to listen to all, you your, to all your information and I'm sure everyone will get a better understanding of the defense and space uh, departments that are in Airbus, which we weren't so familiar um, before that. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And see you next week for more content.